Hello, everyone, and welcome to your Garfield read-along book. Every time you hear this sound, it means it's time to turn the page in your storybook. Now, if you're ready, we'll start Garfield in Space. And remember to turn the page every time you hear the sound. Early one morning, John sent Garfield out to fetch the newspaper. Go fetch the newspaper, Garfield. Work, work, work. That's all I do around here. And what thanks do I get? As he picked up the paper, he noticed a rocket ship on a nearby launch pad. Hmm, someone left the door open. Garfield figured that the inside of the rocket would be a good place to take a nap. Slave driver John will never find me in here. Wouldn't you know it, the rocket took off with the sleeping Garfield inside. Ten minutes and millions of miles later, the rocket crash-landed on Mars. Fresh from his nap, Garfield stepped out and instantly knew he didn't know where he was. I don't know where I am. Garfield was greeted by a band of itty-bitty, teeny-weeny, green Martians. Hello there, large orange thing. Howdy. Hi. They look like pickles with feet. Unfortunately for the Martians, it was breakfast time. Garfield sat back in a big easy chair and ate them out of house and home. My home! My house! The easy chair turned out to be a catapult the Martians used to send trash into space. By chance, Garfield was hurtled straight back to planet Earth. This is my lucky day. As Garfield entered Earth's atmosphere, he started to heat up. My heat shield must be malfunctioning. Fortunately for Garfield, a high-flying hot air balloon broke his fall. The balloon delivered him right back to his front door. 
John's not going to believe this. John greeted the space traveler with his usual question. Where have you been? To Mars and back. Here's your newspaper. John learned that Garfield and life are full of surprises. That's easy for him to say. <laughs> <laughs>